All right, welcome back to Jump Rope Veteran. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today's video is a good one. We're going to be looking at Michelle Obama's jump rope style. We're gonna be looking at her doing double dutch on live television, and we're gonna be looking at some videos of her working out. She does several moves, most of them very good. She has very good form, and I'm gonna go over all the moves that she does, the double dutch, scenario that she goes through and everything like that so we can break down her jump rope style if you haven't had a chance yet or you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button you want to subscribe to this channel because this channel is all about bringing you free information about jump rope fitness health and wellness and anything that you need to meet your fitness goals and i'm bringing information that i use to lose 40 pounds and lower my cholesterol by 80 and continue to stay in good shape to allow me to do the things that I want to do on a daily basis. So I'm passing that information along to you. So that's why you should subscribe to this channel. I'm coming out with videos every week. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let's get into it. Michelle Obama, former first lady of the United States. That's how most people know her. If you don't know her, that's who she is. She is Barack Obama's wife, but she's a pretty extraordinary person in her own right. She is an author. She is a Harvard trained lawyer, former hospital executive. And while she was in the White House, she did a lot to promote physical fitness in general, but mainly she did a really good job promoting physical fitness for kids which i think is really cool she comes from a pretty tough background but she was able to overcome that make it to harvard and do a lot with her life so in this video we're going to be looking at a couple jump rope clips of her working out and of doing double dutch we're going to look at these clips examine them in slow motion then i'm going to teach you how to do the moves that she does in these clips as far as the double dutch moves go i've never done double dutch before but I can teach you how to do these moves with a jump rope and a traditional jump rope. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, the first move we're gonna look at is the X foot or the foot cross. Now in this move, all Michelle Obama is doing is crossing her feet. And she actually does a really good job at this. I have no recommendations on how she could improve this move she her wrists are moving the way they should be moving she's taking light steps off the ground she's staying on the balls of her feet this is a really good move to be able to strengthen your ability and hone your ability to move your feet laterally and to move your knees laterally and to move laterally in general. So this is a move that you definitely wanna learn if you don't know it already, because it's gonna work different muscles and it's also gonna switch things up a little bit. Now, like I said, Michelle Obama does this move very well. You can tell that she's done this before. She knows exactly what she's doing here. So there's really not much to say in this regard. If you wanna learn how to do this move, you can watch this clip over and over again and you'll get a really good idea of how to execute this move. We're gonna look at it again just to make sure that everybody can see it. What she's doing is she's simply alternating putting one foot in front of the other in an X-like motion. So you can see here she goes out first, then goes over with her right, back to a jumping jack type stance, then over with her left. And all she's doing is alternating. Again, this move is gonna be very good for you to be able to get away from just jumping straight up and down and getting the ability to move laterally with your knees. If you have weak knees or bad knees, this is a move that you wanna try because it's gonna strengthen the ability to move your knees in a lateral fashion. And that's probably the best thing that this move is good for is moving your knees laterally, getting the strength, but it's also extremely good move for coordination. And notice here that she's not getting out of control. She's staying very composed, very controlled. And that's what you wanna do with this move and any other move. The tendency for a lot of people is to get excited when they try something new and to start kinda going too fast. And you don't wanna do that. You wanna do every move like you would normally do it and just take it easy and relax. Now this is me doing the foot cross you can see it in slow motion. It's very similar to what Michelle Obama is doing in hers. 
All you really need to do here to do an actual foot cross is just put one foot in front of the other. It doesn't really matter the length, just one foot in front of the other. The next move we're going to look at that Michelle Obama does is the high knee. Now the high knee is a very good move for quick bursts of energy and hit style training. So high intensity interval training because high knees are very intense. You're not probably not going to be able to do many of them at once. You can see here that in this short clip, she doesn't do many, but just because you don't do many doesn't mean they're not effective. The high knee also targets the abdominal muscles, which jump rope does in general, but doing high knees are going to target them more than a regular jump rope move, like the basic bounce or the alternate footstep because you're bringing your knees up. So all you're going to do here is do a high knee like you normally would just use the jump rope with it and if you're having trouble with the coordination try doing high knees and doing a shadow jump so pretending like the rope is in your hands but you don't actually do a high knee so this is michelle obama doing the high knee and no recommendations for her on this one either she does this one very well also and this is me doing the high knee you can slow a high knee down to make it more intense in that fashion, make it more intense on your abs. I'm doing the high knee a little bit more slowly than Michelle Obama is doing in her clip. Either way, it's gonna have the effect that you want it to have. The only thing is if you slow down your high knee, like what I'm doing in this video, you need to have strong ankles because I've seen people who aren't strong on their ankles who just started jumping come down on their ankles and they've rolled and they've rolled their ankle. So make sure that your ankles can take it if you go slowly. Otherwise, you need to go a little bit faster. Now we're going to look at Michelle Obama doing the double under. Now, her double unders aren't the best. They're, they're not bad, but they're not the best. And I'll explain why. What she's doing with her double under is she is leaning forward and she's doing too much movement. See, you see her leaning forward as we slow it down. You see she comes up and she puts her upper half of her body forward like that. And she also pikes her feet a little bit too much. Now, the piking is not a huge deal. I think that a lot of people pike. But the main thing here that I would change is her bending her upper body forward. That makes the double under move a lot less efficient when you do it that way. And you see her here is she's only able to do one double under and then she returns back to a basic jump. And part of the reason that she probably can't do too many, isn't being able to do too many double unders here is because doing a lot of movement, like what she's doing, bending forward like that is not sustainable for being able to execute 10, 20, 30 double unders in a row. So you really just want to jump straight up with a double under. You don't want to bend at the waist like what Michelle Obama is doing here. Again, she's doing a great job. Even being able to do one double under is very good. Here's what I would recommend you look like with a double under. Do you see me in this video? I'm going straight up. I'm not bending. I'm not piking. I'm just jumping straight up and straight down and that's what's going to allow you to do a double under most efficiently as possible and with double unders when you're doing a move that requires a lot of energy you want to make your movements as efficient as possible because you want to be able to do as many as possible and that's just the bottom line with jump rope anyway you want to put out as little energy as possible because you want to keep going whether you're doing an endurance jump or whether you're doing trying to go for multiple double unders in a row we're going to take a look at this double dutch sequence here and this is really cool to watch mainly because she has such a great impact on these kids here they can't really believe that it's actually her and the reactions are just priceless but I mean, look at her in dress clothes. She's wearing tennis shoes, but in dress clothes, she's still able to execute this flawlessly. So let's just break this down here. So the first thing is she's able to time the jump and get in there, which is extraordinary. And then the first move she does is kind of this backward shuffle hybrid, which I'll go through later. And this is her go-to move. And then she has the coordination enough to do a 180 degree turn, which is pretty impressive. Next, she goes back to this backward shuffle hybrid where she's bringing up her right foot a lot higher than her left foot. Now she's going to a boxer step here. 
and she switches up to a boxer step which is pretty cool as well and she goes kind of back and forth then she goes back again to this backward shuffle hybrid and i've never seen anybody jump rope like this before so it's a pretty unique move and it's probably pretty unique to her and then she does another 180 degree turn while she continues then she does kind of like a heel tap there and then goes back to this backward shuffle hybrid where she's bringing up her right foot a lot higher than her left foot and then she finishes which is i thought that that sequence was really extraordinary given the outfit she was wearing but also just the coordination that it takes to do what she did in the athleticism it's pretty cool first we'll break down the backward shuffle as it looks with a jump rope so this is all the backward shuffle is, is you're just picking up your feet a little bit higher. It's kind of like a high knee, but you are putting your feet, it's kind of like a butt kicker, I guess, is what is the best way I would describe it. That's a exercise that I used to do quite often. So you just step over the rope like an alternate footstep and high knee, but you try to touch your heel to your fourth point of contact. So that's what this move is. And she's kind of doing that in the double dutch sequence, but she, as we saw earlier, was picking up her right foot a little bit higher than her left foot every time she did one of those repetitions. The last move we're gonna look at that she does is the boxer step. And this is a move that I have advocated for on this channel many, many times. And it's a move that you wanna learn because it will help you jump rope longer and it will increase your coordination. So all you're doing with the boxer step is what I'm doing in this clip here, is you're just moving back and forth, shifting your weight from right to left, then from left back to right. And what this is doing is most of your weight is going down on one side of your body so it's allowing the other side of your body to rest so that's the main advantage that the boxer step has over the basic bounce because the basic bounce you're engaging both of your legs 100 percent the entire time but with the boxer step it's more like 80 to 90 percent and you're and you're allowing the other half of your body to rest and when you allow the other half of your body to rest, you're going to be able to jump for longer and also moving back and forth, not just jumping straight up and down is really gonna help you improve your coordination and your timing. Hey, thanks a lot for tuning into this video. I hope that you found it helpful and that you have what you need if you didn't have it already to go out and do the same moves that Michelle Obama was doing during the video clips. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, keep checking back for new videos. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Jump Rope Veteran is the handle. All right, until next time, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay hydrated. Jump Rope to Freedom. Peace, everybody.